If you remember, there was this creamy budercas that I made, or budercasa, budercasa. This is half of the cheese because it was so big I couldn't fit it in the bag. It was 10 pounds. It was whole milk, whole raw cow's milk, and I added two quarts of heavy whipping cream, trying to get a creamier cheese. So we are going to see if this cheese is creamier than other budercasas, butter cheeses, whatever. Here we go. smells so boring to me like there's a little tangy smell which I don't like and it's like a little bit wet not gobs wet it feels soft it just smells Bleh. there's not much way in the bag it's not terrible it is pretty I will give it that it just looks so nice oh it's soft <laughs> it's very soft it's very soft. Look at this. Can you see? Like, it will break. It's not elastic, but it's soft. Oh yeah. This is very, very, very tender. Very tender, very creamy. Yes! It worked! I love it. I love when this happens. There is a little bit of that hit, like I said, like a little bit of sharpness, very, very light sharpness. And I think that's just the youngness of it. Like it is not offensive at all, but I think that's a new cheese talking. Oh man. This one, I mean, it is like, it is like smooth, smooth. This is pretty darn perfect cheese. Trying it with some crackers, some cheese. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. It's almost, it's almost like a cream cheese. Like it's not a cream cheese, but it's, it's just that level of creaminess. Let's see if I can spread it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and it's like spreadable. Look at that. That's how creamy soft it is. This right here is the face of pride and happiness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My theory is just boost the cream content and use calcium chloride because you're using store-bought cream. Well, this is the one that I was not like, I was being careful not to overcook the curds. It is not too salty, right? Remember I salt to this part? It, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. I was afraid I hadn't completely cooked the curds and there was too much moisture in. And there was a little bit of moisture in the bag, like I just showed you, but it's minimal. And this, as it is right now, is a really good cheese. Mm. Wow. What will I use this for, you ask? Crackers and cheese. Top. Top, top number. Go good in any sandwich. Good, good in grilled cheese. It would go good in mac and cheese. It'll go good. I mean, what do you want it in? Like anything. Cheesy broccoli soup. What else do we use cheese for? We just eat it. I eat a lot of cheese. It's my bedtime snack, my pre-supper snack. It's my dessert, my lunch. It's just a really good food to have a lot of on hand. I present to you the creamy buttercase. Jack up your butter cheese with extra cream, boost it, you will have yourself a killer, big ass cheese, a killer cheese, a cheese beast to rule all cheese beasts. Okay, first of all, taste it plain. You have to get down because you're way too tall. Squat. What do you think of the cheese, Nicholas? Oh, bathroom cleaner. Really? Is the bathroom clean upstairs yet? No. Okay, go ahead. This is cheese. It's creamy, very creamy. Has the undertones. <laughs> Don't cough on my cheese, you look cold. Has the undertones <clears throat> of. of brie. It has a slight taste, like maybe like Parmesan. What is it? 
This is the boudicas that I made, the butter cheese that I mm, put extra. It tastes like boudicas, I think. <laughs> that has extra two quarts of heavy whipping cream in it. That's why it's so creamy. That's why it's so creamy. Mm. Okay, try it with a cracker. Oh. Okay. Eat that. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. A creamy texture and the cracker adds a nice crunch. See, look. Ooh, it's like butter. You can actually spread it. It cuts like butter. I think they need to like come up with a name for it. I don't want to call it Wutterkäse because that's too hard to say and people don't know how to pronounce it. So it's like a mild white snacking cheese that is loaded with cream. So big ass cheese. It is almost like cream cheese. Tabletop cheese. Raw, raw, rich cheese. Feels like a cracker. We could just call it the chubby cheese. Bad boy. And the Budapest. Budapest, it's not Budapest. So. Monster. Monster cheese. Creamy monster cheese. World's best cheese. Merch monster cheese. Extra much merch cheese. I think we just ate half a pound of cheese. In the end, I finally decided to call it Fat Cow. You can find the recipe on my blog at jennifermerch.com. And happy cheese making!